Hi, I'm Kathy Johnson of Pyramid of Potential. This is video 15 of 60 in the Harnessing Learning Potential video series. Today I'm talking about uh, brain injuries. I'm going to start with a couple stories. The first one was about a 14 year old boy that I got to work with. His mom told me that when he was born, the cord was wrapped around his neck and that um, because he lacked oxygen to the left hemisphere of his brain, uh, his right hand didn't work and he limped on his right leg. Uh, he had lost an awful lot of um, tissue in his left hemisphere and school told her that he would never learn to read. Well, the first summer that I worked with him, um, I did brain training, and the same brain training that I do with everybody else, you know, we're talking three months, an hour a day of, um, of you know, just working on cognitive exercises to improve memory and attention, and things like that. And the second summer I worked with him, I taught him to read like I taught anybody else to read and we're talking about an hour a day for like uh, 20 days and sure enough just like everybody else he learned to read. The second story is one you would be more familiar with and that's the story of Gabby Giffords. She was the U.S. representative from Tucson, Arizona who was shot through the left hemisphere of her brain and um, you know, she lay in the hospital she could not speak so what I, when I'm talking about this, I remind people that at, as she lay in the hospital, if she had had no therapies, um, she would not be where she is today. And that's obvious. But what's not obvious is that uh, her actual IQ in the hospital was quite low. And yet today, she's leading a very functional life. Uh, I read her posts on her Facebook page, and they, they're awesome, very intelligent, and she's doing really, really well. So obviously, her IQ has improved, and that challenges what a lot of you have thought for decades about IQ. Yes, it can improve. It can improve because of neuroplasticity, which means that the brain can change at any time in life. So that gives us all hope. All we need is enough therapy, enough therapy starting wherever we're at and moving beyond in order to improve even severe brain injuries.